Max Conti reporting. So Donald Trump is taking a shit on America. He's taking his, taking a dump, spreading his cheeks, and he's plot, he's popping, pushing one out on America. Why? What did he do this time? This time, Donald Trump, Medicare for all is wildly popular in America. Medicare for all, right? Everybody wants it. 70% of the country is lobbying for it, right? Banging on the table, give us give us health care, get rid of some of those bombs and planes and the rest of the shit that we're wasting money on going to Mars. We want health care, right? But instead, Donald Trump plans to cut Medicaid, Medicare, and Social Security by trillions of dollars. Holy shit, the Donald strikes again. So uh, let's see what's going on here. So, But before we do that, before we talk about that story, I need to make a plea once again to uh, the people that watch this channel. Kindly become a Patreon. This is the channel. It's growing in leaps and bounds. Here's all the top stories. These are the big stories. Remember Caesar Sayak and the, the Patsy Bombers and the... the, the uh, Borderline, the borderline shooting, right? So now we're moving into, you know, all this stuff too. Venezuela and uh, become a great, great interviews with, for example, with Nathan Stoltman of Lift the Veil. Find out uh, all about this stuff right here on this channel. But become, you gotta become a Patreon, please. You see, come over to this page. You see, I just hit the link and you come over. We got twenty three Patreons. We need, I need to get this number up to about a hundred at least. To make this channel sustainable, I'm losing weight here because I can't eat. Right? This shit is hard, man. You guys gotta get, guys, guys get busy. If you wanna, you want, you want real news. You want, uh, you know, you, you know, go back to mainstream media. I mean, otherwise, this, this channels like this are unsustainable. You know, you can go here, PayPal. You could PayPal Mark Conti, the ghost of Brooklyn. That's me. All right, so. Thank you very much for that. So uh, let's jump into the story. So so here you go. You got, this is the Donald, right? I'm, Save I'm, Social Security. I'm pull, Yeah, all right. I'm pulling off of uh, Ilhan Omar, right? Because Bernie Sanders put out this tweet, right? Trump's budget is breathtaking in its cruelty. Is it? Yes. It cuts $1.000,000,000 from Medicaid. 80, 845 billion from Medicare and 25 billion from Social Security, right? I thought Trump's doing the right thing, right? But I thought, look, I thought uh, this is uh, 2015. I was the first and only potential GOP candidate to state there will be no cuts to Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Oh, what happened? So it's fucking you over, right? So. Let's watch this video. Check this shit out. Save Social Security. I'll save Medicare. Ben Carson. I'll Listen. save Social Security. I'll save Medicare. Ben Carson wants to get rid of Medicare. You can't get rid of Medicare. You know, Medicare is a program that works. Every Republican wants to do a big number on Social Security. They want to do it on Medicare. They want to do it on Medicaid. And we can't do that. And it's not fair to the people that have been paying in for years and now all of a sudden they want to be cut. Don't get rid of Medicare. You can't do that. People love Medicare and it's unfair to them. I'm going to fix it, make it better, but I'm not going to cut it. Well, he is going to cut it. That's his, that's his proposal right there. Bernie Sanders brought it out. First, Bernie Sanders brought it out. Then Omar uh, uh, retweeted it, I think, a few minutes later. So, so the... So the, the Democrats, uh, for lack of a better term, Bernie Sanders and some of the, uh, the newbies are on the warpath. <laughs> this is great. This is Donald. Donald lies. When Donald gets caught lying, Donald lies about lying. When there's proof Donald lied about lying, Donald says somebody else lied. So the memes are starting. Correct. Correct. Fucking hey, man. So, you don't say. Trump's vision for America healthcare explained by his budget, right? His vision is he doesn't give a shit about the people. He cares about, he gave the billionaires the tax breaks. How much more evidence do we need? The trade deficit is going the wrong way. The overall deficit is going the wrong way. The jobs are still leaving the country. Hyperinflation is still going on. Your money's worth less. At what point do we 
just uh, you know cut our losses. Do we have an, an option? Do we have an option? I think we do. I think we do. I think we do. This is a good picture, right? Yeah. So Ilhan Omar's uh, site. That's pretty cool. Right? So um, I think we have a. I think we have an option, right? Here's, I want to talk about this one too because the only thing that's holding us back. The only thing that's holding us back, oh damn, is is uh is Russia Gate, right? Is it Russia Gate? Watch this shit, man. So oh let's see. So let's take a let's take a stroll back memory lane, you remember? Oh do we oh look, it's just it's Bernie masturbation, man. Right? Bernie masturbation. Oh damn. Uh oh. Uh oh, my slideshow's down. My slideshow's not working. Ah, oh, damn. So, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Let me go this way. Ah, uh, look at the crowds. Look at the crowds. Look how big. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. It was Bernie in the 60s. Ah, uh, fucking, that's Trump, man. That's Trump taking a shit on you, man. I was on a wall in New York. I, th I took that photo. It's fucking awesome, man. And Bernie, super Bernie. As Bernie with, uh, as Bernie with Jesse Jackson, his brother Jesse Jackson. As Bernie getting dragged out of a, a, a something, I don't know what. <laughs> they said he got dragged out of a commune. That's bullshit. That's a bullshit story right there. This is um, some kind of civil rights uh, sit. Huge audiences. You got to tolerate it, man. You don't like it? Fuck you. Shut the thing off, man. No one's forcing you to watch the goddamn video. Go ahead. Get out of here. Who cares? Right. Who cares, man? Fucking Trumpsters, go. Guy, psh, hit the door, man. Idol worship. Worship the, if you're going to worship an idol, he's worshiped the right idol, right? As Trump, fucking Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Very pa, sexy Bernie. Bernie sexy. Kids going wild for Bernie. Oh, look at the crowds, man. Look at the crowds. <laughs> ah, that's Trump's promise, right? Lock her up. Right? What happened? Nothing. Fucking. What happened? You gonna lock her up? No, nah, not gonna happen. That's. I took that picture. That's the the Bernie rally, man. Hmm. I don't know what's holding him back, man. What held him back the last time? Got cheated, right? Got fucking cheated by the DNC, right? Crooked, crooked Democrats stole our election. Ah, we'll never forget that. I won't forget it. I won't forget it, man. I don't know about you, but I won't forget it. Ah, there's my man. Fucking damn, it's a Bernie man. Bernie man. Feeling the burn, man. Right? I don't know. It's Bernie. Kids love him, man. Fucking kids love him. Ah, uh, Ziggy Stardust. Ziggy Bernie. Bernie Ziggy. Ooh. That's Bernie with the Martin Luther King. They say that's him. I don't know. <laughs> Could be him. Huge crowds, huge crowds, huge crowds. It's fucking Bernie. Ah, Bernie Rockstar. You remember Bernie Rockstar? Bernie chilling. That's a good shot. FDR. He's the FDR of our time. Gandhi. He's Gandhi. Bernie 6, 2016. Fucking Bernie. Can he win? Mm. Can he live long enough to win? I don't know. <laughs> I think he can. I think he can. I think that's my collection right there. That's my shit from 2016. Uh, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Bernie. I said Bernie. I said Bernie. All right, so got a lot of pictures, man. I got this whole file. Fight for 15. All the shit that he was talking about is coming true. All the shit. Ah, people's president. See, that's what we need, a people's president. That's Obama giving Bernie the knife. <laughs> that's a real picture, man. I took that one, too. It's, fucking, it's Obama sticking the knife in Bernie's back. He's walking him into the White House saying, you got to lay down, man. You better suck Hillary's tit or you're fucked, man. We're going to chop you up and your grandchildren. Uh, oh, 
Trump makes an appearance with Putin. That's a good way, good segue, good segue into Putin. Right? So, so here's a here's the other part of it, right? So what's holding Bernie back, right? It's this shit, right? Russia mocks U.S. collusion probe ahead of Mueller's report. All right, so a fake story, right? Anyone paying attention knows that the Russians did not hack the DNC, that it was an inside leak, that CrowdStrike, an organization inside that the DNC paid to cover the mess, made up characters, Guccifer and all that bullshit, right? Um is the reality of it. And Bernie Sanders has never come quite clean with it. But it doesn't seem to matter to the vast majority of people. They're overlooking it. People like me are still stuck. I'm still stuck on Russiagate. Uh, but here's, here's, um, here's how ridiculous Vladimir Putin and the Russians think of us in terms of Russiagate. This is pretty interesting. U.S. Special Counsel Robert Mueller uh, has yet to release his report about Russian meddling in 2016 presidential election, but the Kremlin has been rehearsing its uh, response for months. The narrative shared by Vladimir Putin, his top uh, lieutenants in state television, is strikingly similar to U.S. President Donald Trump's description of the investigation as witch hunt. They say the whole process is about dem- Democrats' stubborn refusal to admit that they lost the election. Yeah. So Trump is right in this respect, but it doesn't justify all the things that I just talked about, that the the devastatingly ignorant and stupid uh, economic policies that he's instituting on the people, taking a dump on the American people by cutting all the the programs that are, you know, uh, deeply needed, should be raising them instead of cutting them, right? So, So although he is right, although Trump, scores points in calling it a witch hunt and the Democrats fail in not calling it a witch hunt. Um, you know, nonetheless, here we are. They, they don't want to acknowledge his victory, Trump, and uh, do everything to illegitim- delegitimize the President, Putin said. Right? Mueller has been looking into what, what the campaign uh, coordinate, the Trump campaign coordinate with Russia and whether the President obstructed the investigation. No, there's no evidence of it. The, the collusion was clearly between the DNC and the Clinton Foundation and all the hostile nations, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, whoever gave fucking money to the DNC for a favor, right? It didn't matter if you were hostile or nothing. It didn't matter if you were a rogue nation or, or a, a full-blown dictatorship like Saudi Arabia. You give money, you get a favor. And that's the bottom freaking line, right? Russia had nothing to do with any of that. He won an indictment Mueller. Uh, so Trump has been widely criticized for failing to publicly denounce Russia's interference in the 2016 U.S. election and appearing to accept Putin's denial of such activity. Well, there's no evidence. There's no evidence to suggest it. Trump's relationship with Putin. So this is the, in my, I'm not going to go through all this, but the, the, in my view, the single stumbling point for the Mr. Bernie Sanders, right, is, is this, right? You, you have to, you, if you're going to just say that Russia stole the election from you and, uh, and you, you can't see with your own eyes what's going on, if you have some special, special knowledge that no one seems to have seen, it's just fucking bullshit. Come clean with it, Bernie. And then you got a, you got a clean run to the, to, the, to the presidency. Clean run, right? Who's going to beat you, man? If, you're the no- if Sanders is the nominee, he'll, he'll be the president, right? So... So is the Russia story bullshit? Yeah, listen to this. Check this. Check this shit out. Right. This is a, this is a story RT put out. Right. That they um, that the Democrats are not only not only denying, not only continuing the Russia gate nonsense, but they're doubling down on it by getting buying and purchasing another fake. Russian dossier. Check this out. Of an infamous dossier on alleged Trump-Russia collusion are apparently gunning for the U.S. president again. Former British spy Christopher Steele and his company, Fusion GPS, are thought to be working on a new report funded by top Democratic Party donors, including George Soros. Caleb Morfin reports. Do you remember that dossier compiled by British intelligence officer Christopher Steele? I do. It have been full of outrageous allegations, gossip, and unsubstantiated claims, but the late-night comedians just won't let it die. I don't want to say what was on video, but... Uh... <laughs> 
it was PP tape. Some people believe that this tape proves Trump's guilt. Oh my God, it's real. <laughs> it has to be. Now, Steele never actually visited Russia to investigate his claims. Furthermore, he alleged that Michael Cohen had secretly met with Russian authorities in Prague, even though Michael Cohen has never even visited the Czech Republic. Now, you'd think that... So, there you go. I mean, there's, there's so much evidence to suggest that the Russian nonsense didn't happen, never happened, never will happen, right? But no, the Democrats are doubling down, going into the next presidential cycle to try to smear Trump again, right? To smear Trump again, right? So the Democrats had so many opportunities to do universal single-payer health care, but, you know, free college tuition at city and state universities, increase Medicare, inc you know, and and uh, increase Social Security. But instead, they're, they're, they're cowards and they're liars and they're cheaters, right? And they suck up to big pharma and they suck up to big oil and they suck up to the military-industrial complex, right? Got to get rid of all these fuckers. Look, 535, right? 535. 535 senators and congressmen. We just gotta, we got to switch them out, man. Get some real people in there, right? Look at how this is. Just, I'll, I'll leave you on this one. This is Israel's. Uh, I saw this. It's fucking funny, right? This is, these are signs in Israel, politicians. That's uh, Netanyahu. It says, don't vote for politicians that give, that give you the finger. It's something like that. That's some, I think, the translation. But we do anyway, right? We, that's what we do. We give, we, give, um, we give our politicians so much, so much room to, to, to hang themselves, and then they hang us, right? So what's the takeaway? My, you know, so Trump is, is, is on the warpath with his stupid, ignorant, incompetent, understanding of macroeconomics and microeconomics. He's now proposing to cut Medicare, cut Medicaid, and cut Social Security. Give tax breaks to the, to the billionaires who don't reciprocate. They don't need the money. Give tax breaks to, to large corporations. Give tax breaks to the banks. Right? You should be going, he's going in the wrong direction with all of this stuff. Right? Going in all, now he's a, He's Mr. Mr. Israel, Mr. I love I love the Jew. Now, now the Jew can do no wrong. The Jew, the anti-Semite, it's all one. Right? So we're we're we it's time to go. You know what I'm saying? Like it's time to go, right? One one-term president. Goodbye. Goodbye, Orange Hara. Marcus Conti reporting.